Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh, my... <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of Band-Aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck you, you spider fuck! Eat it. Jake, bags, focus. According to reports from the local paper, the North killed <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I gotta get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, skill. <sighs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. And this place needs a serious overhaul. Oh. Jesus. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Okay, I'm gonna need you back 
all the way out of my business, Caitlin. Well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. Uh, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then she took out the trash. Then she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I... Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're one sorry motherfucker, ain't ya? Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> So she really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans and um, I have my plans and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't wanna try like long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a b stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. Long. Oh, Nick! <clears throat> oh, come on, man! I'm so sorry, Jacob. <sighs> Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. Oh, shit. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh, not a peep. Either got zero signal, everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. Nah, you know what, whatever, I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. 
You know what I mean? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep German Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. I'm, uh... Okay, well... Well, fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. Hey! You stop <gasps> that! <gasps> It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. <sighs> Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kids just left this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. knock Caitlin out of first place all summer. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh, whoa! Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? 
I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I've, everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! <gasps> did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, Emma. It's still live. That does not look good. What do I do? it out of its misery. Uh, and I can't. Abby, it's suffering. No. No, I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't. Would have been cruel not to. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <sighs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why? To keep out bears? Apparently. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Haggett's Quarry. Yes. What's the Hag of Haggett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Haggett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them as? Tell her about the Hag of Haggett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Haggett's <laughs> Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Haggett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, She'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or 
something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no. I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, no, no. Seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude. Bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Go up to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda what if our bags weren't locked up? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? H of H's Q. The hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... Oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. He said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I'll meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, uh Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Yeah. What? Because kids are kids. Don't only be so much or both. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like, I mean, I heard, uh, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. I'm still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh... Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls, 
I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb sucking, bedwetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the uh, the the oh, the Hagger Hackett's. Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. It was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob. Start her up. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Come on. I told you kids to check everything. But we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Oh, beep dead.
Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! So... What was that about? He, uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out. You know, like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me. Oh. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Oh, 